had met in the summer of 1956 and started going together seriously in 1958. But finally, in 1960, we were able to be in the same town together at the same time when he was at Concordia Seminary as a student and I was uh, serving at Ascension. Um, the next year, he went to the Bronx, New York for vicarage internship. Uh, and we had planned to marry when he came back from vicarage. At that time, you had to get permission from the seminary in order to marry. And, um, was really only open to those who were in their more advanced years at seminary. We did marry August 26, 1962, and remained in St. Louis for two more years. He would finish his uh, degree to become a pastor, and then he stayed on one additional year to begin work on his Master of Sacred Theology degree. Um, throughout my time there, I never questioned, in fact, it never occurred to me to question why women couldn't become pastors. Um, I was grateful for the opportunity I had to be in ministry as a deaconess. However, Concordia Seminary at that time uh, did open an MAR program to teachers in Missouri Synod. Um, and because some of those teachers were women, uh, it would become clear that some women would be able to take some graduate courses there. Now, Pastor Henschke was already doing a Ph.D. while he was serving in the parish, so the congregation had this uh, readiness for their uh, workers continuing their education in a formal way. So with those two openings, I enrolled at Concordia Seminary. There were two of us women among 800 men. Uh, the MAR program was in the graduate school, so Bert and I really didn't have that many classes together. I think we had one together. And he was so amazingly supportive. I think he took a lot of flack from his male colleagues and classmates who couldn't figure out why in the world he would let uh, his wife or his fiance take courses. He was always extraordinarily supportive, but indeed there were some other guys in those classes who uh, was clear they were not uh, too happy that I was there. Um, I was um, able to take courses, and I remember getting A's in my courses and, and got an A in a preaching class, but I wasn't able to call what I did preaching. I had to call it giving an inspirational address, but I got an A anyway. I graduated with an MAR degree in May of 1964, and actually that day was a very busy one. Uh, I went to work. And we also went to court to adopt a child, and that evening was seminary graduation. Um, Burton and I had talked, even before we were married, about having an open home and seeing whom the Lord might bring into it. So through LHRAA, we heard about a child, now almost a year old, who was ready for a home. Uh, his name was Mark David, a name that we would keep. Um, now, Bert and I were too young. We were still in school. We didn't have any money. Uh, we were likely to be able to give birth to children. Um, we would soon be leaving the state. But uh, all sorts of things happened quickly, and before we knew it, we had our chosen child. Um, because our generation, those born late Depression era or World War II, is somewhat small, and the baby boom generation is very large. At that time, there were uh, many children who were available for adoption and fewer uh, adults to adopt them. Um, when we went to my graduation that night, I said to the men in line with me, I became a mother today. They said, oh, no, you didn't. But here up in the balcony was Burton with Mark. Our time in this magnificent old city of St. Louis uh, was full. Seminary, uh, ministry opportunities, free seats at the Muni Opera in uh, Forest Park, and the St. Louis Arch was just beginning to be built. And although we would leave the Missouri Synod later, St. Louis still plays a very significant place in our lives. <laughs>